I was a new immigrant. I'd only been here like two years. A friend and I auditioned for institutional theatre productions. Basically, it was an arrangement with the University of Victoria to do theatre with inmates at Mads Creek Prison, which is a medium security federal prison. What I learned in this was the power of art and how institutional interventions can really allow for transformative change. I've been in the arts my entire career for the last four decades and have helped shape Canada's art and cultural life. The arts in the Western Hemisphere is about the Western canon. What we were doing was trying to make the spaces for these other conversations. I was a distributor at Women in Focus. I started in 1987 and very quickly realized that women of color's work was absent. The Invisible Colors was an international film and video festival for women of color and third world women. It foregrounded the histories of struggle, then it brought forward the issues of race to second wave feminism, and it also created a new alignment in the emergent global politics of third cinema. Art has a huge power to make us think and question the world that we live in and to take action and to find our agency.